Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm going to read you a story from Snoopy. It's a short read, but I think it is worthwhile because I do get a lot of questions about this. The question, the story goes as follows. You can add extra zeros. XSS bypass on a private bug bounty program. Hi, incredible hackers. I got a private invite and got curious about the program. So I signed up at the main website and started clicking around and using all functions. I found this endpoint in which the value of the name parameter was reflecting inside of the iframe tag. But unfortunately, the double quote character wasn't encoded. So I was able to get out of the source. If you have the left parentheses and you have your um, I don't know what the hell to call this character. I'm just going to pull it on screen because otherwise it's going to be a mess. So here you can see this character on screen. I think it's a single quote, but it's a backstroke or something along those lines. These characters were not allowed and were causing a 403 error. So if we have a test double quote with the onload alert and then an origin with the two parentheses we see a 403 if we remove those parentheses we get a 200 or at least the left parenthesis and if we have the backstrokes here whatever they're called we get a 403 i played with it for a few minutes but i couldn't exploit it oh so the cure i texted my buzzy zero xrz who is a true monster when it comes to hacking I sent him the endpoint and bam, when XR, when zero XRZ came, the target was slain. We have a double quote on load alert and then we have ampersand and we have the pound sign. We have a lot of zeros with 40 behind it in the origin. We have the right parentheses, the normal one, space value equals double quote. This is really cool. I'll tell you why, because he told me what's going on here and I'm writing it down. The JavaScript accepts decimal and Unicode characters. So we can write the ampersand uh, pound sign 40 instead of the right the left parentheses. You can check it out at the link that's included in the article. The payload that gives a 403 still though is the one above with just the ampersand pound sign 40 still 403 but we can add extra zeros as many as we want and yes that is still a valid unicode. So with those extra zeros we get the ampersand pound sign 000 40 which is your left parentheses bringing us to the report with the parentheses snoopy and zero xrz in a state of triaged open with reported to the unknown uh, known program here a severity of 6.4 and weakness cross-site scripting with 500 dollars in bounty Make sure that you follow 0xrz and of course Snoopy as well. I'm going to put the link to the article and I'm going to put a link to their socials in the description below as well. So you guys can give them a follow. Thanks so much for listening. I really appreciate it. Again, once a short one, but that's no problem. These are short but powerful messages I think you all need to hear. I know that not everybody has a full medium subscription. Thank you so much, really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, amazing hackers.